quarantine walk. Uh, yes. Day day, uh, day forty seven. That's true. Day, 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 day forty seven. Oh God. Our quarantine walk. The zombies have taken over. Let's think of all the things that are not open. Our closing. Our. I think it'd be easier to to, to talk about what what's is still, open. What's open? <laughs> Walmart. Walmart. Yeah. Uh, Walmart. Tell us about your big score. I scored some toilet paper today. Yeah. I went to Walmart. Walked in. Just out of curiosity, went in the back of the store. There they were. Yeah, baby! Yeah! This is like crack for me. Woo! Clean butt for weeks. And nobody... Shut that door. Somebody might see me. <laughs> this stuff's like crack for my crack. Don't, put, don't give anyone your address because they'll try to break in. I know. I grabbed it. I grabbed... I didn't hoard. I didn't hoard. I just grabbed two packages, threw it in the gar cart, and you then, I had, have then I had to guard the cart with my life through the entire Walmart. Oh, did you use Julie as a shield? Yes. <laughs> She's riddled with bullets as we speak, and in the hospital. But they refuse to treat her because they have coronavirus. Patients oh, that's are treating, right. They're treating first. That's right. She's on a She's, gurney. She's just uh, waiting. She's on a gurney. I six feet her. away. I'm, she's on a gurney. I noticed that you and I aren't six feet apart. No. But we've been no. holed up in the house for two right. weeks. Right. We would we, already be we, dead. We haven't encountered anybody. Right. So I think we're fine. It's Julie we have to worry about. Yeah. She's working with all those patients. Yes. <clears throat> Yes. Julie is a home health practitioner, yes. so she still has to go out and about uh, and uh, do physical therapy on, mm -hmm. on her, her patients, but a lot of them have been canceling because they're concerned about getting the coronavirus exactly. and they're requiring her to wear that uh, special mask. Oh, you just bumped into me. Uh, I have the oh, virus. Oh, fuck. No, I have the Jesus. Shit. Oh, well. Uh, and I'm not working at all. Because there's no I'm always working at, there's no at work. napping. There's no, <laughs> <laughs> well, if you can't count napping. Yeah, there's no work for Lacoste limousine. All the we went from 100 to 200 jobs a day to five or six per day, and then now some days there's zero. Yeah. So I'm at home catching up on art projects. Me too. Yeah. And you, and you too. I'm just jumping in with both hands and all my pins. Yes. All my inks and pins. Good thing I stocked up on that stuff months ago. <laughs> when I aim to start working on things. You just like <laughs> blow the dust off yeah. of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm all set. I got everything ready. And then, but I'm not working on yeah. it. Why not? Yeah, what's on Netflix? Know. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's uh, nap time. <laughs> <laughs> it is difficult to work from home. Here I am with all this free time, so I'm... I'm, I'm working on some personal cartooning projects uh -huh. that I've always wanted to do, and, and you and I are starting to work on our our, our doctor our project, uh, a steampunk book, uh, yes. you know, based on my alter e steampunk ego, alter steampunk alter ego, Doctor yes. Papers, Doctor Artemis Papers, right. and um, and then I'm also hoping to update my website and learn to learn how to up. Uh, I've just uploaded uh -huh. Procreate, you know the. Uh -huh. <clears throat> design software for iPads and yeah. Apple, you know, and uh, I'm hoping I can start learning that. So I'm going to try and uh, really be productive. You'll be digital. Yeah, I know. Finally, like after years. Are we being chased? Oh. Sounds like it. Okay. Here's someone coming oh, after us. Someone's jogging. Yeah. Oh. Excuse us. Oh, more. There's more. Catch him, catch him. <laughs> you can catch him. Get off my sidewalk. <laughs> I'm old and out of shape. I think they're, I think they've uh, lapped us. Yeah, we'll see him again. They'll just keep <laughs> lapping us. <laughs> we get tired just watching. They need a little bell or something to warn you to get off the sidewalk. Oh. They were flying. Keep in there. Kids. Kids, Keep kids. your social distance. Keep your social distance, kids. They ran pretty close to us. I'm afraid that I know. the virus now. That's, that's all it takes, really. These kids running like they're crazy. <clears throat> Free tennis ball. Or is that the virus? Don't touch it. It, it does sort of it look is. like it. Yes, come on, let's go. I'm Could scared. be. I'm very scared. You know, it's getting probably larger, do you think? Yeah. And brighter? Yeah. Is it where you could see it in public like that? 
comes to napping, I'm a Viking. <laughs> Ralph Wiggum <laughs> is the greatest. No quotes are better than Ralph Wiggum. I Wiggum's still have quotes. my. I still have my Viking helmet to oh my God. <laughs> That's right, you do. Because I did that on the phone when we were dating on the phone, you know. That's hilarious. And I went, oh, it's so dappy. I'm Viking. <laughs> and then I forgot about it, and then she sends me this big box. <laughs> That's a big Viking helmet. My favorite one is, it tastes like burning. <laughs> they make, the Lisa and Bart, they, I don't know what, I forget the episode. There's hundreds of them. <laughs> but at one point, <coughs> got the, they're in this got forest it. and they're hungry and they're like, there's some berries and Ralph's uh -huh. with them for some reason. Like, Bear, Ralph, you try them first. Oh. And he tastes these berries uh -huh. and they go, well, what does it taste like? And he says, it tastes <laughs> like burning. <laughs> it tastes like burning. <laughs> and then the episode where they're giving Valentine's uh, cards to each other uh -huh. in, the, in the school, the elementary school. And, oh, yeah. And, and uh, Lisa gives Ralph one because Ralph's not getting any cards. It's really sad. Uh -huh. And it, on the front, it's a choo-choo train, and it says, I choo-choo choose you. And, he, and Ralph <laughs> says, do you choo-choo choose me? <laughs> <laughs> and he's all excited. I have a funny true story. I choo-choo choose you. I have a funny true story I just thought of. But I was in, like, the second grade. Oh, boy. Yeah, and I had a crush on this girl. But oh, I was boy. too shy to say anything to yeah. her. Yeah. And so we had to, it was the day you hand out valentine cards and you give one to everybody you know yeah. so you're at home the night before oh, right. and you right. yeah, right. <laughs> i remember that name I, on everybody me gets too. one Same right? in my, my school right? so we had on hers i drew a little picture <laughs> yeah oh big mistake oh no yeah what I, happened i just put i really like you or something yeah. and then i hello hello and then i drew this little picture of something a bird or flower i don't know some little thing <laughs> which i didn't put on anyone else's right <laughs> and so i think nothing about it i forget about it right I hand them all, we hand them all out, and everybody's looking through their heart cards. And I, and I said, look, and she's in the front of the class, I'm in the back. I see her get up and go over to the teacher. I'm like, oh, fuck, what's this? What is she doing? And then the teacher announced to the class. Oh, no. Hold that... your card up. Hold your card up. <laughs> what is horrible? Announced to everybody. Oh, look what Alan drew in her card. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's what? Okay. horrible. If you did just draw nightmare. something, fine. But didn't you write, like, I, I, like, I you. like you? I like you. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. I did. did what did, what happened? Did she did just it? laughed, and the whole class wouldn't let me forget about it. Oh, God. It was horrible. It set what? back my dating for what? at least, you know, 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, I met Bonnie. Ten years. I'll, I'll tell you about your first wife. Um, but I have uh, right. You, it's set back dating uh -huh. for you because the school. Would but I have another funny, it. not it's a very short story, similar. Yeah. And I was in third grade, and I just got to class, maybe fourth grade, because that was the year I we moved, and I had a whole new bunch of people. Right. I didn't know anybody. I didn't know where the school. I was sitting behind this girl. She looked so cute. I was like, oh my gosh. She is so cute, the way, and I didn't say anything, right, this time. I'm smart now. Yeah. And then she turned around and smiled at me, and her teeth were blue. Blue? To this day, I don't know what, what caused what that. The they were all blue. Blue? What, what the? Even gum or something wouldn't do that, right? Maybe. I just figured it was something that... She might, some dental thing she a, had to like do. Blueberry pie? <laughs> it was, it was even. It was so scary. Weird. That's a, it was whoa, freaking me out. A, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not hooked on her anymore wow. as much. No. That did it. That's just blue teeth. Uh, again, set back dating for at least two more plus. You're on the quarantine diet plan now. Yes. It, requ it means no diet. It means just uh, uh, comfort eat food. Eat whatever is eat, nearby. Eat comfort food and yeah. lounge around like a lazy artist. That's right. Draw occasionally in between naps. <laughs> I draw. Stalk celebrities on Instagram. Yep. <clears throat> that hasn't changed. No, no, I'm still. I was doing that before the virus. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Virus What do coming. we do? I see two people I don't on know. the left We have to go in the middle of the street. And this one person on the right. We're going to have to make do? a decision. This is life or death. We may have to walk in Jesus. the middle of the street. And, and then if cars show up, then we're really screwed. And there's the car. But we need to go on the left. Oh, boy. We are screwed. I'm going to... I'm gonna make a dash for the middle of the road. All right. And I'll walk in the middle. You're going in the center? Yeah. Center right. All right, got you on camera. Hello. Hello. See? 
I wasn't expecting all that traffic. It was, uh, see how friendly that was? It was scary. Hey, they both, they both Wait a minute, did, Wait. This virus is on both sides of the road. Another tennis ball. Jesus Christ! The virus! And yet, no tennis court anywhere. I tell you, that's the virus. A tennis ball over there. Oh, we're in some kind of. Our, the ball look, there's there. another one or two over here. There's, three of them. there's four all together. Yeah, that's the one we saw. We had to clear. We we barely survived it. Now there's three more Fuck. up here. I the told tennis, you. It's a tennis ball I virus. I told you. Let's they're get getting bigger. Here. Tennis ball virus. Look how many there's, there's five of them. <laughs> there's five of them. My God. My God. The tennis Dude. ball virus. You said we'd be safe on this walk. The tennis ball virus. No. God, it's got the dog infected. No tennis courts in sight. That means... Uh, I don't know what that means. It's the virus, man. It's disguising it's itself as tennis ball. Tennis ball virus. It's getting bigger. The wolf watches. Uh -oh. This is hey. over. It's on our mailbox. On our mailbox. There's a mystery there. We have to solve it today. I thought it was like the, the guy who lived at the house that the mailbox, oh. the neighbor's mailbox. Why would the you blame him? I thought the neighborhood's Why bring mailbox. Him into it? Not blame him. <laughs> that he is that that you're there at his house <laughs> checking your mail. Right. And I thought maybe that was his. But now I just saw. <gasps> what? Oh my God. Dane, what are we going to do? That's like the seventh tennis ball. Don't touch it. It's eight, but um, who's counting? <laughs> Can you imagine if they were that big? You could walk around them. It's like, oh, you have the, you got tennis balls all over your face. We, we Go just, around it. <laughs> there's eight tennis balls that we've seen. Yes. I hope that's it. Now we're getting a little nervous. That was scary. And pretty soon we come across a bunch of basketballs. No. Football. It's getting bigger. Soccer. Medicine balls. <gasps> Beach balls. Oh my God. It's getting bigger. And the Incredible Hulk's balls. No. <laughs> That does it. I'm not going for a walk anymore. <laughs> I think they're having a party right there. What do you think? I think that's an illegal party. I yeah. see. I'm gonna. I'm calling it in. <laughs> it's eight cars. Eight. There's no way they could be six eight feet away cars. from each other. There's just no way. There's not enough space for this thing. Eight cars. <sighs> Whoa. This is worse than Mount Everest. I don't think I can make it. That's how those Good guys best. feel. When they clown my Everest. Call an evac, a helicopter. If life, they... life flight me back to the house. <laughs> it's only $30,000. Yeah. No matter how far, probably. Put it on my ground. I, I just need to go down to four houses. <laughs> Land in the front yard. Or the backyard. Yeah. The that backyard. was surprised, Julie. Yeah. Oh, I, I couldn't walk any further. Up I need the medevac. Blows everything out of the pool. <sighs> Blows her window out. Be, be in, uh, More glass. Right. The inflatable unicorn goes yes. flying up into the sky. Into the propeller. <laughs> and then it crashes into the shed. <laughs> it's like apocalypse now in our backyard. Yeah. You're holding Sandy and running. Across the pool in, in slow motion, and then like Vic Morrow. Yes. Oh God! <laughs> From the Twilight Zone movie, a, a nightmare. Oh my God! And then we totally recreate. Yeah, and I'm the one that gets sued for directing it. Yeah, right. That looks exactly like it. Looks like the coronavirus. Oh my God! Don't touch it. Die! No! Don't touch die, it. Die! Die! No, you're infected. I did a painting in college. It had to be abstract. Yeah. I was getting sick of doing abstracts. So I, uh, I'm walking along campus going, I don't want to do any more abstracts. I look down, there's a bunch of those things. So I grabbed a couple of those spiky ball things. You painted those? Yeah, and I, paid, I found an ad for jelly. Yeah. And it had a big bunch of it like you're swimming in it. So I did a, the bottom the two thirds of the painting was jelly. It just looks like abstract, like Picasso or something. When you do it up close, right? Yeah. And then I had those balls floating in it. They look like landmines. <laughs> that was my, I don't think I ever saw that piece. It was my favorite. I, don't know if I, I eventually sold it. Huh. I have a picture somewhere, but you're right. I haven't well, I don't know if dug I've it out. Seen it. Yeah. it was big. It was like five feet square. Oh, wow. And it was a survivor. Because that year, I had done a whole bunch of crappy abstracts. Yeah. Oh. 
had done a bunch of crappy abstracts and they were all in the uh, art room in those bins, right? And then it was spring break. And so everybody's, nobody's in school. Then I turned on the TV one night. On the news, the building was on fire. They put out the fire and it smoke damaged the all art, the artwork. The, the art wing? Uh, the, the art the, wing yeah, that where all the art was stored oh God. was smoke damaged. But my favorite painting, the one I just told you about, they had an art show somewhere and I gave it to them to put an art show. So, so it, wasn't it wasn't in, in the there. gallery. Right. It wasn't in the art department. It was a survivor. You know, the art, the damage from the fires probably made some of that crappy art even it better did. looking. It made probably it smell made, better. Made it, probably <laughs> some of that art was improved by the fire damage. Really, when I got all the stuff back, it just looked 70% as bright <laughs> as it was. And it looked you better. Know? Yeah. And then, you became a better artist. And that was how I got Overnight. in all those art galleries in New York. Because sometimes putting fire, setting fire to certain pieces of art it yes. improves it. <laughs> From then on, I set fire yeah. to the art building every single summer. <laughs> oh, you! Oh, I see. This is, you were responsible. It worked. it worked so well. Statute of limitations, though. You're True. fine. It was like what, 30 years ago or something? Uh, longer. Longer than that. I'm supposedly have a key, right? Because I know I picked it up. I don't know. Here it is. Would you like to do the honors? Oh, but you just touched it. Now oh I shit! Have the virus. Oh god! No, you touched up there on the. That's what the virus ah! is. <laughs> I can't touch anything anymore. Where's the hand sanitizer? I know. Oh, I oh, forgot to lock it. You took the key out. It's like you don't know what you're doing. Well, I'm distracted by the, how many power strings I have in my fingers. Oh, yeah, now. that would be distracting. I just can't be touching my face. Don't touch your face. Don't. I know. No, 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 no. My hand wants to touch my face. No. no. <laughs> Here, I'll touch it for you. I'm sure brothers and sisters are having fun with this. Stop uh -huh. touching yourself. Why are you touching yourself? I'm not. Ah, you're touching your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So ends the quarantine. Self We're heading back into self-isolation and quarantine. Yes. And this is, I'm sure, going to go viral. <laughs> well, pun intended. Woo. All right. I'm out of here. Oh, you dropped some mail. Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's from my health provider. You tested positive for coronavirus. Congratulations. Come down and get your, your prize. <laughs> wow, what would that be? Self-isolation in the hospital for the next six weeks. Maybe eight. I don't know. Jackpot!